Now at 7, a stretch of Columbia Parkway has been closed for almost 24 hours. This after a landslide Sunday night left mud and debris on the road. As nine on your sides, Josh Bazan explains crews are still trying to clean up the mess at that location. There's still plenty left to clean up on Columbia Parkway and the road's going to remain closed until tomorrow. I spoke with one local expert who says landslides like this are pretty common, but they are starting to happen more often. It is a mess on Columbia Parkway. Piece by piece, crews are picking up mud and trees sliding into the street. And so this is a perpetual problem now the city has to deal with in terms of cleaning up landslides that occur along the parkway. Eric Russo is the executive director of the Hillside Trust in Cincinnati. It's a nonprofit that works to make sure any development on the region's hillsides is done properly and safely, partly to prevent recurring problems like the city sees along Columbia Parkway. Probably the prime example with the parkway here, if it had been engineered properly in the 1930s, it's not that we would not have any landslides at all, but we have probably far fewer than we do now. The landslide Sunday night is just around the corner from another landslide that happened four days ago on Kemper Lane. It's a problem the city has long dealt with and one Russo says is only getting worse. In fact, I've witnessed since we've had a lot more major storms in the last three years, more landslide incidents happening. The city of Cincinnati owns about 50 miles of retaining walls and inspects each wall on a six year cycle. But Russo says the retaining wall along Columbia Parkway was built too short. And as landslides continue to spill into the road, the cleanup costs continue to pile up. We're probably in the top five in the country as far as landslide damage per capita, yeah, to public infrastructure. And that does not include damages to private property. This is just simply to uh, public infrastructure. Columbia Parkway between Kemper Lane and Torrance Parkway is going to remain closed until after tomorrow morning's commute. Reporting on Columbia Parkway, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.